How's it going, buddy? You ready for your forever home to get out of the tank? You got much, much, much bigger in six months. All right, well, I just tried feeding this guy right here, but as you can see, he is nice, plump, fat, and healthy. He's been eating a lot the last couple days, and he's chilling right now. He's not in hunt mode. He does not want to eat. But this, we have an absolute giant. I just bought it. What's the size of this thing? This right here is a giant, like 150 quart igloo cooler. Our tiger muskie is going to go in this today. We're gonna to put some ice cubes in there to cool the water down. I'm gonna have a bubbler, an aerator, and he's gonna have about a two hour drive over to his forever home. Now when I got this guy six months ago, he was only like 16 or 17 inches. And I knew that I had just a, a small amount of time with him because he was gonna grow very quickly and gonna outgrow his tank. We're basically at the point where he has outgrown the tank. He is over 20 inches long now, so much fatter. I'd, I'd be willing to bet he weighs almost twice as much as when I got him. He spends a lot of his days ripping up the weeds, as you can see all the weeds floating. Uh, we, we bury him back into the gravel and then every single time the next day we come back, the weeds are just floating again because he swims around the tank really fast. He rips the weeds up. He just swims into the glass all day long, it seems. Like, see right here, he's just swimming into the glass. My dad took a video the other day of, of him like swimming, I'll, I'll play it right now, he was like swimming at the minnows in the separate tank. He was so hungry, he didn't even know they weren't in his tank, he was just swimming at the glass trying to get at the minnows. It's a muskie, it's a top predator, he needs to get out of here. I wanted to feed him one last time for you guys, but very obviously not interested in eating at all. There's already been minnows in his tank, so he's just kind of been eating whenever he pleases the last couple days. We we're going to get all the water into the igloo, that was loud, we we're going to get all the water in this igloo, and then uh, we got a nice big rubber net for him and then graciously bring him to his new home. Now once we're there, I'll be able to show you guys where we're actually putting him, but the, the kind guy that emailed me, Connor, he said that this is a inactive gravel pit that is spring fed. It gets to like 30, 35 feet deep and there's plenty of game fish in there, but the biggest thing that convinced me to put Tiger Woods in there, wow, he is going nuts over there. The biggest thing that convinced me is that I bought this tiger muskie from a, a, a hatchery, I guess you can call them, a company called Herman Brothers. They're a private hatchery. It's the only way you can buy game fish like this in Illinois. But when they were talking to Herman Brothers about what they could do with their ponds because they had stunted, uh, stunted bluegills or something like that, they suggested that they put something like a tiger muskie in there. So this is a body of water that was already suggested to put tiger muskie into by experts. So I'm going to trust that. And that is where Tiger Woods is going to go today. Now you eat when I get the hose. It's very musky like of you only eating when it wants. <laughs> when I turn the camera off is when he eats and just crushes the minnow I put in there. That's perfect timing. But here's what we're gonna do. This giant cooler, we're gonna fill it with this hose from the water there. We're gonna take the bubbler, put some ice cubes in there, and then we'll be all good. All right, I gave him a couple minutes to chill. We took the top off to corral him easier, make him less stressed out. He is in there, he is chilling. I got some ice packs in there right now just to make the water a lot colder. Then I'm gonna get some ice cubes for the drive. He looks to be good right now. He's just chilling. It's obviously gonna stress him out a little bit, but like I said, the ride's not too far. It's only two hours. Right now we gotta move quickly, make sure he's in this little cooler least amount of time as possible. And also we are gonna put some more water in it. Just a little bit more. I don't want it to be too full and be splashing around all over the place. See ya, buddy. You're all good. The bubbler's in there. We'll get you some ice cubes, cool that water down, and you will be all set. Okay, we're about an hour in. I just stopped to check on him, get a little gas, get some more ice for him. I put him in there and it just warmed my heart to see he's all good. He is chilling in there. I was very, very, I'm gonna be honest, I was really worried this is not like the calmest environment for him at all. He's gotten very big. The water was not that cold. When I first transported him, he was only 16, 17 inches and the water temperature was like, it had to be like 39 40 so colder water the fish is going to be much calmer it's going to be a much healthier water temperature for the fish he's getting transported in like 60 degree water right now and that's what he's going to go into so that's perfect that's fine but put a little more ice cubes in there for him just to cool down a little bit and uh he's doing good in the first hour so we only have one left and i think he's going to make it and he's going to be happy in his new home all right well this is it guys this is tiger woods's forever home we are on some private land out in like western illinois here this is actually the kind gentleman that was watching the videos and wanted to take in tiger woods What's going on fellas so right here we're draining the water because this cooler is probably 300 pounds with all the water in it oh yeah he's still doing really good he doesn't even look stressed he's just swimming around in there yeah. So this is an eight acre pond, correct? Yeah, eight acres. Um, it's got about 
seven and a half on the main body and then a cove over here it's about a half acre it's just a beautiful property though like i told you guys before it is a it's an old strip pit right. it's spring fed even in the summertime the clarity is like 12 15 foot it doesn't really get over 80 degrees and it's an absolute perfect size it's private property no one's ever going to come back here and he should have a long healthy life munching on crappies bluegills and little bass is that all that's in here what's actually in here yeah crappies bluegills um a lot of little bass there might be some channel cats might so be we, yeah we released some about yeah. 10 15 years ago if they are they're huge and ancient okay um you'll catch the occasional bullhead if you're fishing with worms or stuff like that but cool i haven't seen one of those pull out of here in years we're gonna wait until this drains it's probably gonna be a while okay I feel like I shouldn't net him. I feel like I should just grab him out of there. He's gonna bite me. <laughs> get his tail and get under. I've never actually touched him. Really? All right, so here we are. Tiger Woods, the Tiger Muskie is going into his forever home. I was not sure exactly how this was gonna work for six months, but we made it work pretty well. And this was the final step. Connor, again, thank you. You're very welcome, for Chris. For the new home. I was originally gonna put him in a Bass Pro. That's why I made the video like a month or two, but this is a Muskie. It doesn't deserve to be in an aquarium deserves to be in a lake so hey i've got a tape by the way if you want to put a tape on him uh if you think that'd be no see he doesn't like being picked up very that's much yeah that's under, yeah that's exactly. understandable there you go buddy he's gonna sit there and get used to the new water he should be good there's a muskie in your pond now <laughs> there is <laughs> It's a little guy, but it'll be all right. So it's definitely new water for him, but this water's clean. It's the exact same temperature from the body of water with the little aquarium that he came from. I think he's just gonna chill there, get used to his new environment, and then take off. There he is being a musky chilling. Well, just like that, see if I can get the cloud of dust for you guys. Just like that, he's gone. We were watching him just kind of sit there and chill for a minute, get used to his new environment, and then out of nowhere, it's just He's gone now and he's in the pond. So this side is all pretty shallow, and then it gets deeper in the middle. Yep. And then over there, there's like another shallower bay. Yep. There's like there's a lot a... of little bluegills under this dock too. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect for him. I'll have to come back and catch him when he's 40 inches long. It sucks that it's so cloudy, so you guys can't really tell how clear the water is, but you can just tell it's that nice like strip pit pond blue. Very cool, it makes me so happy he's in a much better place now. Now you've got boats and you actually, we can come out here and fish a little bit and catch yeah. some fish right yeah, now, can't course. we? Yeah. I don't have too much time because I have a big trip tomorrow that I have to get planned for, but I think we got about an hour. Yeah, so let's go sure. do some fishing and try not to catch Tiger Woods before we go pack up. So unfortunately, Connor and I only had about like 15, 20 minutes to fish. We did not catch anything, but I had to go like so early because I had so much stuff to do on that day. Another huge thank you to Connor to taking in that fish. Again, that couldn't be a more positive situation for the fish, and I'm so glad everything worked out the way it did. But we have to talk about the next like five, six videos that are going to be on this channel involving these guys right here. Big saltwater poppers, not just this guy, this guy, I got, I got a whole tackle box full of them. Scott does, Tommy does, the two guys that are going to be on this trip. Now, I'm not going to pretend, I'm not going to lie. I am home. I have returned on this trip. We spent a week in Colombia, and it was the most amazing, the most incredible week of my entire life. Now, to give you guys information on this trip without spoiling too much, this is basically what we did and what happened. I flew down to Miami, and then the next morning, me, Scott, and Tommy, the other guy on this trip, which you guys will see and meet, we all flew down to Medellin. We spent the day there. Then the following morning, we flew out to a tiny little village on the western coast, the Pacific coast of Colombia, called Baya Solano. We fished there, a place called Punta Ardita, just all over the coast, right up near Panama, the northwest coast of Colombia. We fished there all week. We popped for rooster fish. We popped for giant jack creval. We popped for the main trophy of the trip, which are big, vicious, mean Kubera snappers that will come up from 7,500 foot of water to hit your giant topwater pop just like a GT will they have just giant teeth they're a vicious fish and just like a GT also the second you hook them they try to dig and dig and dig and break you off into the reefs and into the rocks because that's where they live that's their safety not only did we go after those fish we spent some time chasing the pelagics the big tuna the big sailfish it, it was an incredible week it opened my eyes so much to the world that Big trips like this, there's so much more than just fishing. They really, truly are. The food is incredible. All the people we met were absolutely incredible. So 
that's where we're at right now. I'm back home in Chicago, back with this little wiener right here. And I know I say this a lot that you guys are going to be excited for and like the next couple of videos on this channel, but the next five or six videos I'm going to post really truly are like the best work I've ever made just as a creator. I, I truly feel that way. From the uniqueness of the trip, the fish, the storyline, everything was it's it's really cool and I'm extremely excited to share it with you guys. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to edit it. I might have someone edit like a nice teaser trailer for it just because I am very proud of it. It's 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 going to be very cool. So that's what happened on this video and those are the next videos and content they're going to be up on this channel. And I mean it's summertime. It's the middle of May. You guys can see like just in my neighborhood here in Chicago, like it's basically summer. The bass are I'm pretty sure the bass are already like way under their spawn here. I've been I've been in the middle of nowhere without cell service for five or six days, so, and we are back in the summertime. You guys know, last summer was when I really cranked up the videos on this channel and when I truly became a YouTuber and grew on this channel, so I'm very much excited for the summertime and the great fishing up north. Thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video, and, uh, you got anything to say, Bella? You're looking at me really weird. Stay tuned for the Columbia videos? Yeah? Yeah? Good talk, Bella. But seriously, thank you guys for watching. The next videos I'm, I'm extremely excited for. Peace.